Hey guys. All right, so today I'm going to do something I've been wanting to play around with for a while. Um, I've had my CO2 laser now for a couple months. Gotten pretty good with it. I've uh, made a lot of different things, but I've noticed a few people doing this, so today we're going to try it. And that is engraving mirrors. Of course, the backside has the coating on it. That's what I'm actually going to be etching. And then, you know, the shiny side, of course. So, what we're going to do is come into light burn over here. So we're in light burn. I've got my company logo set up in here. That's what we're going to run today, just to see how it works. And what you want to do is, since it's going to be going on the back side, the coated side of the glass, the mirror, we're going to want to reverse this image because it's going to be printing on the back. So I'm just going to drag and highlight all this. I want to assume if you have a laser, you probably know how to use light burn. We're not going to get into all that. Uh, go up here to arrange. We're going to flip it horizontally. And now as odd as that looks, it flips it all backwards, but that's what we want. This black line that I got going around here is the size of my mirror. It's like 11 and 7 eighths by 11 and 7 eighths. So now we're going to set up the laser and get the laser centered perfectly in the middle of this glass. Right when it starts cutting, it'll cut that out perfectly in the middle of the glass. So we've got our glass, shiny side up. I want to flip it to the coated side. Get it down inside here. I do have the auto focus, so we want to make sure we're focused in. This part always scares me. I just want to break the mirror. But it doesn't. So now we want to get this glass mirror, I keep calling it glass, positioned right in the middle. So easiest way to do this. Right there is pretty much dead at six. Up a hair, another touch. All right, so I'm happy with that being in the center. What I do a lot of times is I use this great kind of line up with the honeycomb to make sure my mirror is straight. So right there is that. So that's all set up ready to go. Now I do have an air assist for my laser. Um, if you don't have one of these I highly recommend it. It works great for these CO2 lasers. Um, definitely helps in cutting and engraving tremendously takes your air pressure from like 3 psi up to like 30 so very good upgrade on my setup i'm running 500 speed 25 power with no air uh, with this air assist if you're engraving you don't want your air turned on only when you're cutting, but I've got my line, which is the black box where I referenced my mirror. I got it output set off, so air doesn't really matter there. So, we'll start the cutting. Okay, that's all lasered up. Laser head out of the way. Get this bad boy.
Now what I'm going to do here is just take some LA Awesome, spray the backside. Way if there's any residue on there, we get that all cleaned off. See right through it. And what I've done is I've created a frame. Just do a little rabbit around the edges here. That's glass. My calculations are correct. Sit right in there, like such. So, what I'll do from here is I will get some rapid fuse DAT 30. Stuff works great. I'll apply a thin bead around that lip. Set that glass in there, let it get good and secure. Uh, maybe finish the frame, maybe just keep it natural and just clear coat it. And it'll be uh, good to go for a really nice sign. So, yeah, that's it guys. That is how you laser mirror.